Hello everyone, Yannette here from Lucid Pen, and today I'm going to show you how to use the liquify tool in Procreate. Um, now please bear with me, I do have a cold, um, so hopefully we don't have too many interruptions. Here, I wanted to show you some of these um, backgrounds that I did using that tool. And as you can see, you can use a variety of colors, um, and each time you do these, you will get a completely different um, effect depending on what you use okay so let's go ahead and add a new layer so we can get started what I like to do is use the um, in the artistic brushes I like to use the turpentine one um, but you can experiment with different uh, brushes just make sure that your brush is set to wet mix under the dynamics because it allows it for a nice blend of colors on your palette. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use these right here. They come with Procreate. And you can lay these out in whatever direction you like. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just a lot of fun. And you can fill up the whole page. You can um, go halfway. Again, it's all about experimenting and seeing what the effects that you like and what works for you. And leaving some of that, you see there's a lot of white on here, uh, leaving some of that actually makes the canvas um, more interesting because you'll have these nice um, mixes of white along with your color, it makes it look like um, a geode. Okay, so we're gonna go here to the adjustments and we're gonna go all the way down here to liquefy. And as you can see, you have a lot of options here. Um, the size is pretty much the size of your brush. Okay. Um, distortion, I'll show you that. We'll start with push. The size will always be the same for all of them. And be careful when you're switching from one to the other because the size will always stay the same. However, the distortion will change uh, according to where you had um, last had it. So this is a push with no distortion. Now you'll see what happens when we use a push with distortion. It adds a bit of a wavy effect um, to, to, the, to the liquify effect. And we can always go right here, reset it, and it'll bring our canvas back to the original location. Um, twist, I mean twirl, right and left are the same thing, just the direction changes. Um, and if we have the distortion at zero, it will only do a single twirl, like so. Whereas if we set the distortion all the way up to 100, you'll see it does multiple swirls in there. So it just depends. Again, play around with it. You can go somewhere in the middle, it'll do a lot less. The left is the same. Pinching is literally that. It will pinch that area and suck in all the paint in that one area. And then expand is the opposite of that. It will push the paint out. Okay, the crystals, that's a pretty neat one. I like this one. Um, it sort of pushes the paint out from wherever you have your pencil. And so it'll do it in a small amount, or if you have your distortion higher, it'll the peaks will be a lot greater and if you leave your brush there in one spot it'll just continue to push the paint out from that direction okay edge is literally just that it's going to create an edge so if you bring your brush back and forth it'll create a line in your paint and let's see let's go mess this up a little bit so you can see the reconstruct, if I put it here, where um, in the middle here, you see it takes my takes my canvas back to its original um, location. So the paint will become unsmeared there. And you can always adjust it as well, so that the effects almost disappear, all the way to the point where there's no strength and your canvas is back to normal. Almost like reset. 
Um, so what I want to do, what I usually like to do first is I like to swirl it um, or twirl it and I'll go pretty big on this so it gets a lot of my paint. And you can just kind of move in any direction. I mean, that looks nice all on its own right there. We could just use that. Um, but let's go ahead and push it around a little bit. I'm gonna bring this down some and I'm gonna leave it the distortion on high because I actually like the, I like the effect that it has. And I'm just gonna push some paint in different directions, going up, going down. Now, if you, have, if you have, for example, we have a lot of pink here, and you don't want it to be so strong, you can always use the push and just push some of that paint back. You can spread out the colors by pushing it. You can make this longer. Move things around here. You can always go back and swirl it some more if you wanted to. So as you can see, there is so much that you can do and there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just a matter of personal preference and, and what you like and what you're looking to do. So that is pretty much it. Once you exit out of this, it will save that. And if you wanted to go back and liquefy this some more, you won't be able to reset it to your original canvas. You would have to undo it. Now from here, we can continue to mess with it some more and we can reset it, but it will only reset back to that one. If you actually don't like this, um, you would have to completely go back and undo. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. Um, this really is just a matter of playing around with the tools and figuring out what you like and what you don't like and testing it out to see what effects you can achieve. And you can use these backgrounds um, for, for your planner covers. You can use them for, you can write on top of them and have a nice backdrop to your lettering. Um, there's tons of things that you can do with it. You can mask your letters, you can mask your sticky notes, all sorts of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when more come out. Bye!